fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, 26, no, 27 now of uh, January. I guess 26 is on the brain. Uh, watching the Open last night. A quick recap. Uh, Dow gap lower. One and a one and 1.1 percent as S and P same thing down one Nasdaq down one and a half uh, gap at the open they're all sitting down here near the lows uh, dollar yen gap down traded to as low as 73 um, now at 03 um, what are we gonna say here? Just have a look at this. Looks like um, a lot of bad news out there. Obviously, uh, we have some uh, missiles that hit uh, U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, and then we had, um, you know, lots of coronavirus news. China is going to extend their holiday period um, to February 2nd from January 30th. There are 2,000 suspected cases in Wuhan now. Um, I don't know. I mean, things just seem to be getting worse. Uh, but to be fair... Asia was uh, more contained than you would think considering all this bad news. Dollar yen now is back at 05. We talked about it on Twitter. We thought um, 20 was going to trade again. Got back up to 17. Uh, this chart says 12, but let's just see going forward. This news is bad. There's no way we're going to be able to clear this, um, clear this bad news anytime soon. We got a lot of unknowns on the table. What's the response to these missiles from the U.S.? Um, Trump's in a funny place with this uh, impeachment circus going on. Bolton has come out and said. Um, Trump specifically asked him to withhold money, uh, withhold money to the Ukraine. So it, that didn't really help. But the question is: Is this? An, are any of these impeachable offenses? Uh, I don't want to get into the politics here, but I don't think any of them are uh, in the minds of Republicans, and the Republicans control the House. So. Uh, impeachment looks unlikely. Um, that said, it's just still out there on the table, so it just adds to the to the discomfort of uh, of not knowing what the hell's going on. So let's just have a look and see how we're gonna add to some of these positions and how we're gonna make some money today. Um, like we said, dollar yen should be uh, show resistance between twenty and let's say. Um, 40 um, so you want to sell dollar yen on rallies let's take a look at equities equities are tough if you're not already short um, trade it down to 52 and 60 is a big point right we talked about 60 a, a few weeks ago this is kind of a pivot here 60 because this is before the cash session um, we're just going to leave this alone here. We do like selling high ones. Are we going to close this gap uh, up to 96? That seems that seems uh, unlikely. Um, I guess you want to sell 85s today uh, if you can, uh, but you don't really want to chase this yet. We kind of want to see if there's a better place to get short uh, in the S and P's. Dollar CAD risk off continues, so this is takes Dollar CAD higher. Oil got just absolutely smoked. Uh, Fifty-two seventy, the low I think in oil. 
Uh, not that there's much correlation between oil and dollar CAD. 52.17, excuse me, not 70. This 50.53 is on the brain. This looks like it's definitely going to happen. I'm really, really disappointed and upset with myself um, for not being short more oil. Um, anyway, it is what it is. We're now four bucks into this move, so it's a little bit tricky. Uh, but now we're looking for prints at 51, at the figure, or at 5050 to get ready for this, uh, what you would call a, a long term break trade here. Uh, but it's not for today. Um, Euro, absolutely useless. <laughs> 2335, all this news. Euro does nothing. Amazing. Um, Salvini got his balls kicked in Italy, so that's kind of good for stability, but nobody cares uh, what's going on in Italy right now, and nobody cares what's going on in Euro. Cable also not in play. Dollar Swiss also, um, you would expect it to be more in play with all this geopolitics, but it just isn't. Um, 92 the low in Euro Swiss. We talked about buying this in front of 83 and, and is is the SNB here. Um, it would be very like Euro Swiss to print this 92 low. Nobody bought Euro Swiss last night. Uh, nobody was on the bid down there in front of the face of all of this news. Today will be the turn day in Euro Swiss. It would be, it'd be very Euro Swiss like to um for this to be for this to happen um anyway we're not involved in euro swiss down there either aussie had a nice print here technically uh matching these lows at the figure we traded 99 but we're at the figure now you want to sell this uh up towards 20 Europe's going to take this through the figure at the open, so I don't know if you want to chase it or not. Uh, we're not recommending the chase here. Aussie Yen, as you can imagine, got schmocked. 74.60 is the gap. Close. The real important points are 73.50 and 73.75. Let's take a look at gold. Not as high as you would think it would be. Got up to 90, but now back at 80. Um, gold is just trying to decide how serious this is and what the repercussions of all this are. You would expect gold um, probably to go higher in the coming days. Let's just cloak all of this uh, news-driven fear um, stuff with the fact that um, the yes, uh, um with the fact that um, the Fed is uh, this week and we also have the BOE so there's a lot going on this week uh, if you miss this let me redo this um, if you missed if you missed these moves be patient uh, don't want to start chasing stuff if it's, if you're unprepared for it. Let's also quickly look at this uh, dollar rand. We talk about 1450 trading. The 200 day is is 1460. Uh, we do believe dollar rand is is going to rope higher, just on this general risk off malaise. This one, um, I don't know why it it's not higher already, but uh, this one looks like it's ready to roll. And I guess also we should look at dollar max. Uh, one could argue many people are short euro max. The dollar max uh, could easily also head higher. We have some interesting highs here at, at sort of 87. We, we slipped through 87.70. Um, in North American liquidity, I don't mind uh, getting long dollar max today finally Bitcoin I mean what the hell 
uh, down to 82.50 uh, over the weekend. Opened at 86 on this on the uh, CME. We like buying Bitcoin. We like being long Bitcoin. Um, we have core longs, but you also want to have tradable longs to try and help your average on the core longs. Uh, frustrating that we didn't get to participate down there at 8250 but uh, this is the life of Bitcoin let's not complain about stuff that we can't control uh, but Bitcoin looks like a buy on dip as well uh, let's take a look at the calendar feeling a little bit sleepless in Seattle today was up late uh, watching that stuff and and taking a little bit of action there last night um, UK finance, mortgage approvals, benefit claims. We got German IFO today. Uh, nobody really cares. MEX retail sales. Watch out for the MEX retail sales. That 77 level might come into play there. Uh, and then we have new home sales in the U.S. and Dallas Fed manufacturing. So pretty light calendar today. Uh, we're all watching the news. We're all uh, watching equities as our barometer. Uh, so we have news, possible news uh, in the Middle East, and we have possible news globally about our favorite virus. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, good luck out there, and I will see you tomorrow. Ciao.